Hopefully we can get in a position where we're only being shot at by a single tower, like we, uh, like we normally try to do, essentially. That'll minimize our damages. We don't want to spread too thin. We also need to really defend our artillery, so... Look at this view of death and despair. Look at those gates, too. So these towers are very likely upgraded. There's a lot of like screeching and stuff. I really like how they did the windows like that, by the way. Like there's really no reason to make them pure white like that, except for aesthetic purposes. It just looks neat. It's like the like traditional, you know, vampire looking stuff. The really bright contrasty windows. So there's my reinforcements. So this is where we're parking, by the way. Um, everybody, except for you guys, will go missile front. And we'll go over here. All of you guys, well, you guys specifically. Park your butts over there. That should put you in range of the wall. Oh my god, I forgot how far their range is. And you park right there. So we'll start battle, pause, immediately move these guys up. Uh, about there should be fine. So let's look around. So there are the Varg hoofs, that's what it is. I think these dudes can fly, can they? Yeah, they, they certainly look like they're flying, or capable of flying, I should say. Oh, here's the wraiths, look at them. They look cool. They look fantastic. Um, his other flying capable units are all the way back here, and I hope they stay back there, but I have my doubts. There's the Terrorgeist, by the way. Freaky little vampiric dragon creature. Is it a dragon or like a wyvern or something? I don't know. Creepy looking, though. Anyway, so the only flying units he has towards the front are these two, which are scary in and of themselves, so we do have to be aware of that. You guys don't run. There's no reason for them to run. Is that you? No, that's that guy. There's my gyrocopter. Oh, right. Um, so all of you guys except for the artillery, which is... oh my god. All of you except for that. Do they only have one piece of artillery? Or is it just not got here yet? I don't know. Uh, you guys will also be missile front. And you will park yourselves a wee bit behind the other dudes. Okay, so the artillery just hadn't got there yet. I really just want these guys out of the way for the, uh, yeah, they're upgraded, as you can tell. Want them out of the way of those because they're going to be an issue if we don't get them over. So you guys are cannons. Mark your butts there. You guys are grudge thrower. You can go there. Why are you not part of this group? Oh my god. What? What is happening with your formation? I don't think that's how formations are supposed to work. Hold on. You guys, ungroup. And then... Ungroup. Completely restart. Missile front. There we go. I don't know what in Lord's name was going off there. Look at how cool this thing looks. These guys are getting shot to shit. They will be out of range of that soon, though. My archers are firing away. That thing is still held, but not very, not very well. 
We are taking quite the beating from that tower. You see why upgraded towers are so threatening. Put yourselves pretty close. And then you guys right behind them. I'll leave my gyrocopter back here for now. It's got quite the uh, range on it, actually. It's impressive. Skyhammer bomb. Neat. Okay, so because this is vampires, they don't have range. In fact, I don't think they have any ranged capable units in their military. They really need to lose that tower, so... I want you guys... Actually, I don't think we need to shoot that. I mean, we are taking casualties from it. Oh, see, that's what we need to be careful of. His flying units have moved up to be expected. Is he going to go for my main army? It looks like he probably is instead of going for my artillery, which is what I would have gone for. Move him up a bit. So there's the terror geist doing terror geist things. Well, it looks like he is indeed moving some units back here. So I'll have this guy help out a bit. Oh my god. Okay, well. Should be able to finish that off with this guy. In theory, anyway. You, come here. You, also come here. Uh, or remake our lines if we need to. Yep, he's dead. You guys didn't even drop your equipment. No fear whatsoever. Okay. He'll probably actually try to help them. It's terribly inaccurate if I recall correctly though. So Terrorgeist is dead. There it goes. Reform the same lines. The doors are broken. Apparently we completely shattered that. We're just doing a lot of accidental damage here. But that tower is now neutral, so... We're gonna quadruple speed it. One of your units has used all of its ammunition. By God. The reason I'm double layering like this is just in case something rushes out towards us, the secondary line of ranged units will still fire on it. I think my catapults are almost done. Actually, no, not even close. Who are you? A vampire. Who shoot at him? Can you guys not reach him? Should be able to. They may just have run out of ammo. Your hidden units are here. Are you shooting them? He is shooting them. Come here. I want to. I want to. Let's drop some bombs. You can only do it five times, but you appear to be getting murdered. Oh, he can drop a lot of bombs quickly, but however, he's being rapidly murdered by being near that thing. Apparently. You guys are still shooting. My catapults are essentially done. Didn't really need to scream quite that loud, but that's fine. It'll take them like half a century to move up there, that's okay. I think they may actually, yeah. They may actually just shatter. I mean, I'm not even going to step foot inside of here, yep. Well, the helicopter did, gyrocopter, but 
the rest of my army didn't even go inside of the place we were sieging. Let me check how much storage space I still have. 309 gigs. That's fine. Now you can see my mouse cursor, I think. Hopefully that goes away. Oh, there we go. We lost 90 units. Of course, we will occupy this. Province secured. So. We gain access to all this stuff, which means this is going to be probably a heavy recruitment area, actually. We're going to keep this place a heavy recruitment area, I suppose. Is there anything else I'd want to build here? Like, there's no unique buildings or anything I can build here. We kept our walls. Nice. We want that, obviously. Get uh, Bugman's Rangers. Requires Drinking Hall, which is this, I think. No? Requires building drinking hall. Requires building armory. The hell's the drinking hall? Oh, you know what? The fucking drinking hall's over here, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. You doofus? Alright. Welcome to me. So. We have to do something about this dude's military. You can't, uh, do anything special. His army over there needs to die. This one's not a threat. Uh, it exists, but it's not a threat. This province is unhappy because we just took it. This province is unhappy because of corruption, which no longer has osmosis, but it does still have local populace. It's unfortunate, but there's not really a whole lot we can do about that. Hey, we can get this. Faster research. We're up to 128. Why did oh, that's why, because we have a thing that costs money. I remember. You guys untainted in public order. That dude being here is gonna make them generally vampiric over here. I hate this dude. So when we kill him with theoretically, when we kill him with this army, we're gonna try and assault his troops too. We'll take that with that army, and then we'll take we'll move this army that's in this castle down south, if we can. We may need to do some finagly stuff with um, maybe not actually. I was gonna say some finagly stuff over here to keep them happy, but we'll see. Meanwhile, in the south, there's a dwarven army just marching through here. Who the hell are you? Clan Moors. Well, there's the, there's the uh, Skaven that are causing an issue over here. I forgot Clan Moors existed, if you want me to be honest. So he started raiding vampire counts. I want to know what he's doing. Is he going to take this province? He's sieging the province. He is going to take it. Nothing I could do about it. Yes, okay. So we've lost that region, unfortunately. But... Is it possible we can lay siege to him this turn? What do you want? Military access and you'll pay me. Sure. I see nothing wrong with this plan. What do you want? Are you going to not take that question mark? Is garrisoning, okay. I think that's what we want, isn't it? That place? Or was there something over here that we wanted? I don't remember where it was. I mean, I want everything, because that's how I work. It's a little bit lost. It must have been that. It looks very dwarven-like, so... Look at all those savage orcs in there, good lord. Um, yeah, the uh, wood elves have actually left the woods. Unusual. 
We can get there. And he is technically stronger. However, can he get there? He can, I believe. But he can't do it while it's under siege, so we'll break the siege. Hopefully that doesn't screw this up, because he does move, doesn't he? No, that was in circle. Whoops. Break the siege, go over here, assault the garrison. What? Oh wow, 15% extra casualties. Then we will re-siege this and we will encircle. He will not replenish these units. I don't know why they had such a high value on this, but... He'll probably try to fight me. Because if he doesn't, he'll take attrition pretty quickly here. That is a-okay. These people are still generally unhappy. That's sort of to be expected. Have more beer. The solution to all of the world's problems. So we can only build two more things here. We want this for Bugman uh, Rangers if we're going to be using those. And I think we want this for Slayers. That means we can't recruit copters or organ guns or any sort of siege equipment over here. But it makes more sense to have that over here anyway, because this has the uh, timber. And they're right next to each other, so that seems okay. Alright. Um, if What happened to his other army, actually? Oh, this place is, yeah, losing a lot of its vampirism, finally. Whatever happened to his other army, I don't know. It, it could be dead. We have a lot of grudges. Only true vengeance will make me happy. Is that what you... True vengeance will make me happy. Did you forget that part that I just said? You know, with the vengeance and all that jazz? Okay, so he's gonna fight. He's gonna opt to fight me. It's defense. Do I want to take this fight? Um... I mean, not particularly. We need to kill him at some point. But I'm not in any particular hurry. If we can assault his units instead of the garrison, that's what I should have done. Step what do you want? Military alliance? Yo, I'm kind of scared about, you know, this whole shebang that exists over here. And you hate them? I mean, I probably hate them too. It is the Varg. We don't talk about the Varg. We just ignore them and hope they don't notice we're here. We are getting close to the chaos invasion point. And the Varg are already pretty far south, and I don't remember if the chaos invasion are aggressive to Varg. I kind of doubt it because that wouldn't make any sense. It's this province. Or is it that province? It's that province, which is going to rebel next turn. This is a problem. You clearly need more alcohol. You guys didn't garrison? No. It is stopping them from rebelling, though. Curiously. 56. He failed. You displease me immensely. This is all like just make money. Sure, take that one. I don't care. I could give you some equipment. I'll make you a god. I mean, he already is basically a god. He isn't healed in like half a decade. But... Do I siege it again? Sure. Lightning Strike doesn't help us any. I don't even know why that's actually an option, considering it's a siege, but... I 
In fact, why does that make it more in his favor? That just seems bizarre. For our forefathers. Does lightning strike tire your dudes out? I don't remember. So untainted plus one. What is that? Oh, even more tax rate. Wow. Probably want this public order too, actually. We'll have issues with public order over here in general. Uh, you're going to rebel in the next turn, apparently. Good. Fantastic. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Uh, who are you? Stonebeard. I don't know. Take that. So you don't die to arrows so easily. So we'll have a rebellion over here. We'll have to defeat it as quickly as possible. Maybe we should just take this. What does he have in terms of cavalry? Just that. He does have Vargheists. He has these dudes, which uh, I wish didn't exist, but he has them. He has some bats. We have cannons. And a gyro bomber. Gyro bomber does seem pretty good. Let's take this fight. Let's do it. We have to do it at some point. I was hoping to, to get a turn where I could assault his units and that would make it a, a laughable fight. Assuming we did something more than like damage six skeletons and call it a day. Which is a thing that can happen. It has to RNG roll you succeeding with the, uh, there's the city in the back. That's, that's neat. I always thought that was cool looking. You could see the city in the background. We can't really see anything else. It's very misty and swampy though. I can see why nobody likes living here. I forgot what I was talking about before. Who knows? All right, so everybody except for those. We're doing missile front. No, we're doing mana. Yeah, missile front. I picked melee front when I said that. I'm fully aware. Don't worry about it. You guys, park yourself in the back, ish, somewhere. Right about there is fine. You guys park in the front so you can get your shots off and the gyrocopter can exist for now. And we'll start the battle. These guys can already fire. They're only cannons, unfortunately. They're not the better artillery units, but... The fact that we can already fire is pretty good. They'll heal, like, the entire way over here, so... Go ahead and quad speed it. He'll also continue trying to dodge, which again, I hate the fact that the AI is even capable of doing. It upsets me. Let's go ahead and move you back. Actually, no. Stop. Who are you? Halt. Fire it will. We are debuffed. I think that's just doing damage to us. Who is this? Oh, it's Iron Hammer. Okay. I always forget who my armies are, you want me to be honest. Cavalry's doing a flank, as are the Var Heists. And you guys are going to fall back. We're gonna move these guys all the way around to try and do something here. If we can, try and keep it double lined as well. Roughly double lined. So you guys should be shooting. You'll fire a volley and then probably leave immediately. I don't know what you guys are doing. Oh, that's what you're doing. You're firing it though. You appear to have pissed them off. Well done. So the problem is basically no matter what I do, uh, these guys are going to charge in and out constantly. It's going to piss me off. So Try and use these units to defend anything from getting flanked here. Hello. You're seriously going to do this? This is why I hate having skirmish, by the way. They 
See if I can get these guys off. Where is Iron Hammer? We're going to charge Iron Hammer in the midst of them. And pop his buff and just call it a day. Where are... You guys are having a grand old time. You know what? Come here, Gyrocopter. My lord is under attack. Look at the damage, it's so good. It's so good. Holy crap, it's literally the greatest unit in the game. Alright. <laughs> I'm pleased with this unit, as you can tell. Archers are doing work. Mostly. You guys are just holding the line, that's fine. Where's their leader? There you are. What are you, actually? Oh, you're just that. Okay. Yeah, you exactly the same setup as it was before. I want to get to him, but, you know, to get over there first. He's winded, but that's okay. Now come back. You can't run from me. I am Vengeance Incarnate. In case you've forgotten. Cavalry's coming back. Reinforcements have arrived. That's okay. Yes, charge my leader. That is your worst mistake because he will kill you very, very quickly. Is this just region? Yeah. This guy's trying to help out. He doesn't have a whole lot of ammunition. And that is a bit of a, a bit of an issue with him. You guys are still on me. Why are my corollers up in here? That's I know you're a decent melee combatant, but that is not at all where you guys should be. You're also supposed to be fighting him. I don't think he can actually get in there though very well. Who are you? Longbeards. You guys are holding pretty well. They're not killing anything, but they're holding really well. So he's going to be out of ammo soon. It's fair enough. Let us park these guys over here so that hopefully they're not in the way of those. Same with you. Oh, it doesn't actually matter. The fight's over. Their entire military has crumbled while I wasn't looking for those couple of seconds there. Oh, the only thing left are the zombies, right, because the zombies don't crumble like everything else in their military. Here we go. Easy. That was a very, very easy fight. We lost 82 units. They lost 1600 almost. That is crazy. I have to respond to someone. There we go. I have done it. Kill them. They attacked us, so we don't automatically capture this. Although it has ended our siege for some reason. Also, badoop. You guys probably heard the badoop the first time and I missed it, so now, now you guys know I'm getting messages. I like this very slow camera pan. Um, I'll stop here, activity. I'm gonna very briefly stop recording here. A minute, rebellion. I know. Rebellions everywhere. Who are you? What's the Empire? Where did that rebellion even happen? Or is it dead already? It must be dead already. Alright, well, thanks, I guess. Um. Briefly going to stop recording. I'll be right back. <laughs>